Hello, hello, Facebook Live for Friday, April 28, 2017. I know a lot of, well, I shouldn't have a lot of nine to fivers uh, following me here on Facebook, but a lot of nine to fivers get all excited about Friday because, man, they can just take their paycheck and stop having to give any value. But business owners, we all know that we're always thinking about our business and how we can always think about giving more value and therefore getting more back in return. And many entrepreneurs and business owners uh, Friday is not the end of the week necessarily it's not for me I work on sometimes I'll be off on a Tuesday I'll be on on a Saturday a Sunday it all depends on what I'm doing most of the time depends on what my clients are doing of course because I'm helping them to make money Brian Basilico what is up speaking of an entrepreneur who is always thinking about his prospects and customers and how to improve things but I want to make a a, uh, hopefully I make a brief point and then you can think about it over the weekend today. It's all about what you're thinking, the, the perspective you have when you are selling or when you are buying. And I see this mistake being made uh, very often by people that are selling intangibles. So for instance, I spent the last three days, as those of you following me here on Facebook Live, I talked about Icon 2017, a, a technology conference with software developers and small business owners and marketers. And so um, a, a lot of people were coming up to me and saying, wow, uh, tell me about your group. You know, I have uh, the results group where I guarantee I find out if somebody, you know, what the results they want and if I know that I can help them get it because I guarantee results or I have to give people's money back. So if I know that I can help them get that result, well, then we can talk about them possibly joining the group. And yet then people by default, they fall into the becoming process oriented. So conversation starts out result oriented. So it's called the results group. What results are you looking to get? And then they fall into the process oriented. And so it just, it, it pains me because I used to do this and it, and it's a big mistake when you're selling or when you're buying to think about the process instead of thinking about the result. So I'll give you an example. And this befalls, again, people that are selling intangibles, professionals, um, consultants, coaches, uh, you know, like myself, or so people that are buying or selling these kind of services often thinks in terms of the process. You know, so a professional, a, a doctor or a dentist will think in terms of X amount for x-rays and x amount for an appointment or a psychologist you know x amount per hour for a coach or a psychiatrist or something like that that's helping someone in their mind it's it's x per hour so how many hours do i get and how many hours do you get me and how often uh, you know do we get a call and, and for a dentist oh you want to come in every six months you know and then it's or for a chiropractor you know i want two visits a week you know it's all about the process and you fall into this trap about selling or buying based on the process when of course it should always be based on the results. Now I have to tell you my experience working with thousands of business owners, the blue collar, the, the, the contractors, real service providers don't fall into this trap as often because they are selling results. Okay, so God forbid you wake up tomorrow morning and there's brown sludge all over your kitchen floor, what are you going to do? You're going to call a plumber. And I'm sure that you're not that interested for the plumber to come over and start telling you, well, I'm going to turn the wrench six times and I'm going to add three washers and I'm going to change two bolts and I'm going to do one elbow pipe and who cares? I just need the leak to stop and get that brown sludge out of here and fix it. I just need it fixed. I need the result. And we don't really care about the process. I'm seeing, you know, I got to test these sometimes. Maybe Brian or someone can tell me. I see these things popping up on Facebook in the last week or so about how I can, I don't know, tell my friends to join or something or other, whatever. Anyway, by the time I figure that out, Facebook will probably change it and have something new anyway. Uh, so that's the key. So when you're buying, don't get bogged down in the process. Sometimes a, a contractor will talk that way. They'll say, a plumber might say, well, there's a trip charge of 125 and then I'm $90 per hour and your thing should take about two hours. And you get all into the wrong world of the process. And so as, as I am, as a results provider for speakers, coaches, consultants, marketers, uh, I help people, I ask, what kind of results do you want? How many clients do you want? How much money do you want to make? If I can help them do that, 
So then I'll guarantee that, and let's go. And they join the results group, and they're off to the races, and then my goal is to get them to realize that result as quickly as possible. And then they can go beyond and above and beyond their goal and be extra super fantastically happy. But I love when I see the post. I have a private Facebook group with the members in the group, and, and I love how they're like, well, there goes the guarantee in only the first few weeks in the group. You know, In other words, they hit that goal that I guaranteed they would hit, already and then we're moving on and everyone's happy and so we're focused on the results so that's about it folks you want to be focused on the results when you're selling and certainly when you're buying you want to know what results people want and and get off of the selling process so i'll give you a uh, an example from the conference the last three days of the danger of doing it the wrong way so here's somebody that helps people to put up a website and put together emails to send out or, you know, all kinds of marketing campaigns. I'm going to send a letter. Then I'm going to do three emails and I have to put this into your email. I'm going to get an email program and got to get an online shopping cart and hook that up. And we got to put a couple of websites up and opt-in pages and this and that. And we're going to put them over to here and do this. And, and, and so the person comes to them, you know, this is a sponsor of the event. They have a booth. Person comes up and says, you know, I want to, Get more clients. I want to make more sales. And that's great. So it starts out at the result. And then very quickly it dives into this, gets lost in the world's a process. And it, the whole thing just gets lost and bogged down. And actually, in the long term, this can be a major problem. So I'll give you an example with this provider of how it was a major problem. It started out with, yeah, I can help you get more clients. But then very quickly it devolved into the problem area of here's what I'll do. First, we'll have an initial consultation. And that's $6,000. And you come to my office, we spend the whole day, two days, and we go through everything in your process, and we map it out, and we, we get everything you want to do, and then we put the plans together. Then about a week later, I deliver to you the process implementation plan, and that's $2,450. And so I deliver that to you, and then we go forward, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put up a website, and that is $1,750. And then I'm going to write you six emails that are going to go out over the first two weeks, and that's going to cost 22 And they go on and on with all the, the different costs of the different processes. And what happens so often with this one provider, unfortunately, I've tried to help them over the years get out of this process-oriented world. It's a, it's a deadly world to be in because somebody has gotten this whole way over-complicated, over-scoped solution to a very simple need. I, I want more clients. And it's devolved into, well, there's a consultation and there's this website and then there's this many this and then we do that and then I do this and then there's a call and then there's a this and what and there's a charge every step along the way and very often the person gets bogged down in all of it phone isn't ringing months later still doesn't have clients because things aren't done and oh you didn't you know now the provider is blaming the customer the client you know you didn't deliver the the about you stuff that I need to put in there and you didn't deliver the pricing and the this and then you didn't you didn't decide yet what price you want to charge so I can't put the website together and so you know so often I know with this one person clients will complain and go you know what let's forget the whole project I want my money back then the provider starts arguing and says well you're not getting your money back because I already gave you the consultation, that was $6,000, I already did that, I already did the, the wrote out the overscoped big, you know, plan of what we're going to do and deliver that to you, that was 2450 or whatever numbers I said earlier, and then I wrote the six emails for you, and that was 1700 and then I did this and I did that, so, you know, you're not getting all your money back, you're not getting any of that money back, you can back out of the project now and don't have to pay me anymore, but you're not getting that money back because I already delivered. But you didn't deliver anything because you didn't deliver any results. The person can't get any clients because the system in its finished being built. So the client is extremely unhappy that he got all this process and now is being told he has to pay for the process, but he gets no results. And then the seller has sold all this process, got no results for the client, so you have a miserable client. So, yeah, maybe then there's always these fights, I know, with this provider. Oh, so, okay, I guess he didn't have to give the money back, but he didn't get any results for the client. So does he get any great success story out of it and any testimonials? In fact, he gets negative testimonials and people talk. And what do you think of that guy? Well, oh, let me tell you, man, I, you know, I paid him such and such and the thing got bogged down and I don't know whose fault it was, whatever, but I couldn't get my money back because he claims that, you know, my 2400 plan that he gave me that never got implemented was somehow worth $2,400. And so that's because it all got bogged down in the process. So... Now, going back to me with my results group. So somebody comes up and like, man, I heard about your results group and people getting results like crazy and this sounds great and why aren't I in that? 
you're helping all these people make all this money. And that's at the event. In fact, I had four clients that had booths. They were sponsoring the event. Two of them were speaking at the event. I'm going, and then there's others. I had four others that are attending. So I'm all over the place, bouncing around, introducing them, hooking people up, getting deals made, getting them clients, helping everybody make money, getting them to the results they wanted from the event. Everybody happy. So people are coming up and going, wow, I hear all this about your results group. How come I'm not in it? Tell me about it. And I said, well, what kind of results do you want? I would like to get this. Well, what do you do? And how do you do that? I'm thinking, I'm like, with all my resources and connections, and can I, am I willing to risk that I can guarantee I can get that for you? Because otherwise, I'm going to, you know, end up giving your money back after I put in a lot of time and effort and work, and then I'm going to have a negative success story, a negative testimony out there. I don't want, excuse me, I don't want any failures out there. I don't want anyone saying I joined this results group and didn't get results. So, so far, I've been doing this, um, a little over a year, I have not not gotten the results for people who participated in the group, and I have not had to give their money back, and I don't want anyone to be the first. So I'm like, can do I know I can get them the results? And if not, I certainly know not a lot of resources I can lead them to. So I can say, you ought to see this person, you ought to see that person, because they can really help you with that. I can't. And that happens a lot. But, you know, then, so we're like, yeah, okay, I'll help you get those results. And then for some reason, their brain very often goes into process-oriented mode, and kills their own brain from getting the results because they start going, well, so how often do you guys meet? How often do you have a phone? How often can I call you? How many calls do I get over the course of the year? How many uh, e e emails do I get? How often do you get? How many of this? How many of that? How many of this? I'm like, missing the point. You know, as many as you need. Some people call me every other day. Some people don't call me for months. Some people post into my private Facebook group all the time. Other people are not in there for who knows how long. They're busy making their money. We set their systems up. They're traveling around. They're speaking. They're whatever. They don't no longer are in there a lot, but they're still getting lots of results. I mean, it's all about the results. So bottom line is, you know, how you want to be how I feel. You take a stupid pill, I call it. Okay, so be how I feel when, I, when my car is not running right and I take it into the shop and I don't know anything about it. So all I want is for that noise to stop, that grinding noise or squeaking or thunk or whatever the heck's going on. I want that thing running right. So I get a call the next day, your car is ready. I come back in, how much? I want to, here's my credit card, give you my keys, and I'm out of here. And a lot of the time, the mechanics will come out of the back with some thing on a, you know, wires connected to some metal something or other, and they feel compelled to start talking to me about process that I do not care about. And that being that seller, that mechanic should not either. Who cares? The car is running. You said, I brought the car in, wasn't running. You said, I'll get it running. You got it running. Here's the money. Give me the keys. Everyone's happy. You now start getting into process. You're like, yeah, I just wanted to show you. See here, this little part of this, this piece of this part, Man, it wasn't, you know, firing right on the thing and connecting. So I had to take it off and I ordered this and I did that and whatever. And I'm like, can I go yet? I mean, I, I'm not, you're sorry, you're not going to fool me. You're not going to get me to devolve into process mode where you get off the, the, the key topic. All that really matters is the results. So again, blue collar people have this way ahead of the speakers and consultants and coaches and doctors and attorneys and all kinds of you know, intellectuals and, and, and information sellers and intangible sellers and buyers because they say, look, oh, you have a, your, you know, heating system isn't working. Your boiler isn't working. I will go fix it. Boom. X amount of money. What was the problem? How, well, how, how many steps will you walk up with it? How, will you carry it on your left shoulder or your right shoulder? How many tools will you use to put it in? Don't all those questions just seem absurd? Who cares? Who cares? He's good at it. He'll do his job. That's why you hired him. So when you hire somebody who says, I'll get the result, you pay the money, they get the result. Don't get bogged down into then screwing yourself out of the whole thing because some of these people ended up, you know, not joining the group. They're like, well, now i got to think about it or wonder about it because their brain is stuck in the process-oriented world. And that's where so many consultants and coaches and, and, and service providers are. And so they have been in such and such as program. I have. I've been in so many different mastermind groups and programs where that's how they're sold. 
so I can see how the mistake is made. They're sold with, you're going to get a quarterly meeting and a monthly call and a weekly this, and I'll send you a weekly email and a daily this and a what, and you go, oh, great. And so, you know, after six months, I've had six of those and four of these and two of these and one of these. I got, I got any new clients? No, but I guess I'm supposed to be happy. So the provider is going to tell me, hey, I provided, I gave you six of those, four of these, three of these. Not my problem. You don't get any clients from it. Like, Run away from those groups. Run away. Don't be looking for the group. If you're asking the question, that's it. Make it a trick question. Okay? Someone says, I'll help you get that result. And you say, how many calls do I get? And they actually answer you? Run away. Run away. That's a key sign the person is going to later on have the opportunity to tell you, well, I promised you six calls and four of these and two of those, and I delivered them. So don't start complaining that you didn't get the results. Okay? Focus them on the results and say, look, do I believe that's the person that can help me get results? Okay, in my case, do they believe all the success stories I have and all the happy clients that I've helped make tons of money and all the resources and the connections and all the software and everything I have and anything I can do to help people make money and all the success stories I have? If you believe I can help you, let's do it, and I'll guarantee the results if I decide to choose to accept you as a client. And if not, I'll point you in some other direction. But at that point, the process... You need to get out of your head with the process. So whether you're on the buying end of things, don't get bogged down in the process. Don't be asking the mechanic when he says, I'll definitely fix I know just what it is. I'm great at fixing it. Should be ready by about 3 o'clock tomorrow. Don't start asking him, well, what kind of tool are you going to use? How high are you going to jack it up on the jack? How many uh, times are you going to twist the wrench on that nut? I mean, what? stop it. Just say, thank you, that's fantastic. I found the right guy, come back tomorrow. If it isn't fixed, guess what? He might give you a call at 2 o'clock and say, I know I thought I told you I'd have this ready at 3. It's a little more complex than I thought. You got an extra problem. I didn't have the part for whatever it's going to be done at 4.30 instead. I'll, you know, don't worry, I'll send over a car to pick you up, and I'll, I'll, I'll make good on it. something. If you miss something, I'll have to pay for it, or if you have something you have to get to, I'll give you a ride to it, or whatever. You know, I'll make good on it if I missed. Or maybe he'll say, you know, it was easier than I thought. Didn't take till 3 o'clock. Got it done at 9 a.m. because it wasn't all as complex as I thought, and I got it done quickly. But the bottom line is get it done, get the results, whether you're buying or selling. Focus on the results. If you got somebody who's focused on, well, it's going to be this many sessions and this much per hour, and this many calls, and this many that, you're, that's a mess. Terrible situation. Terrible situation. You're focused on the wrong thing. You're focused on the benefits, not the results. The features, not the results, whatever it is. And the same thing when you're selling. Stop selling. You might have heard this before. Don't sell the features. Don't sell the two of these and the three of these and the one of those. Don't buy that way either, folks. Look for results. Look to find the someone that can get you the results, the results you want, whether it's fixing your heating and air system, fixing your car, helping you make money in your business, whatever it is, you're looking for the results. Stop looking for the process, even though that's how you've been taught and trained to buy in the past. It is nothing but trouble and unhappiness down the road for both the buyer and the seller. That's why I got my group and I have it as the results group. And it's not at all process oriented. It's all results focused, results oriented. So everybody knows why they're there and what they're doing and whatever we got to do, we'll get it done. We'll get the results. I hope you're the same way in your business. Thanks for anyone joining me live. Brian, you're still here. Thanks for being here earlier. Anyone else watching on the replay, thank you very much. As always, I put these up on my Rhino Daily podcast, my Rhino Daily blog, my uh, YouTube, Steve Cypress, my Twitter at Steve Cypress. You can email me at Steve Cypress. You can uh, follow me, uh, connect with me here on Facebook, and uh, I'll be back again tomorrow with another one of my daily Facebook live videos. Got a great topic for tomorrow. Also, an important issue that uh, is a problem I see people getting into that they can't get out of, and I'm going to share that tomorrow in experience I had today with a client. Thanks for whoever just flew something, flew across the screen. I'm, I'm told those are always good things, so I love that. Thank you very much, and I will be back here again tomorrow. Hope you join me then. Thanks for joining me today.